Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Mixed Media Frenzy. That's where we all use the same sketch or layout as inspiration and create our own. And this week, this is the sketch that we'll be using. It's in French, the blog that it came from. And there are words stamped in the background, and they're in French, but the title's in English. And I am going to forget about the stamping. I don't think of it till it's pretty much too late. When you first look at the layout, it looks blue. <laughs> and that's really all you see. But once you start looking at it, you can find all kinds of little goodies in there. And yeah, I forgot about a few of them. I got started on my layout and forgot to look at it again. So yeah, it went downhill from the get-go. It looks like a cut file in the inspiration layout, but I just used my Creative Memory circle cutters and made some circles. And I made them a little bit on the wonky side, but not as much as I would have liked. I was afraid I would just slice right off of the edge or something. So some places are wider than others, just to give it a more wonky look because it has, you know, variety in the cut file, which be kind of hard to do with these or at least I thought it would be but once I get it on there it looks like a cut file if, unless you look really close at it now my first thought was to just glue those rings layered on top of each other in a little offset onto the paper first and then put the mixed media on it but then I got to thinking that each ring would be the same because like if you put it in one spot Every ring laying in that spot would have mixed media of that color and everything. So I decided to do the rings first so that when they went laying upon each other, you could see a variance in all of them. And it works, but uh, I think I made almost mud in one spot. Well, it looks purple. Well, maybe more lavender because these are pastels. So it's not too dark of a purple. It's not dark like that blue is anyway. And I started to go ahead and use the silicone mat and put my past, uh, past, uh, gelatos on there. <laughs> I can't even talk. Uh, but then I decided to go ahead and use the plastic so that I could just kind of dribble it in places and then smoosh it. Because that's what it looks like on the original. And so I decided to go that way. And I'm using the ring to tell exactly where the circle's at because I want it to go within the ring with the mixed media and a little bit on the outside, not a whole lot. Even though I used more than three colors on the rings, I'm only going to use three colors on the background. I didn't want to repeat the exact same colors and I wanted the yellow and the green to show up in the rings a little bit more. And so I just... I just didn't put them in the background. And that primrose, I got ready to drizzle some of them on there, sprinkle, scatter, whatever. And then I thought, oh, I need to put my rings down first. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I'd like a few drops to go on there. I really can't see very many. It probably wouldn't have made much difference. But I'm going to put the rings on first. I did make one smaller. Just for the fun of it, I thought maybe I could kind of put it somewhere that it would show up. Maybe I could nestle a little cluster in it. But I ended up putting the photo down in it and kind of tuck it in there. And that photo's of my niece, Cherokee. And she's always putting these silly selfies on Facebook. And that's how this one looked. I mean, it did not look like a picture of me crop it down that low. That's what she put on Facebook. So my title's going to be Silly Selfie. And I forget all about it. Come in here and start editing the video and had to go back in there with the SD card and do the title. And the title I picked is pretty small. I was looking at several things because I wanted a one that had with a similar font to the one in the original inspiration layout. But I couldn't find, I don't have the dies for the right words. So I finally decided I'd just use something with a, a cursive font. Well, then I seen these little tiny 
glitter ones that I've never used. And I look, 2015. And so I'm going to end up using them. So my title's going to be a little bit on the tiny side. I am going to mat my photo three times with three different papers. And I'm going to put the ones with the chevron in the middle just to add that color in the middle between the layers. And I'm going to put them on there fairly straight. Although I'm using my scissors and trying not to cut them straight. They look straighter than you would think when I get done. But when I go to take the photos, I will notice that it, the picture's crooked. And since I have all the stuff around the photo, I didn't want to move the bottom one. So I decided to make the other ones kind of off-center. So that will look different at the end. If you look down there below, you'll see links to all the other gals doing the Mixed Media Frenzy this week. Well, there might be a couple that won't be able to do it this week. I do remember that. But I'm going to leave their links anyway. Because you might want to hop on over there and see what other mixed media they have. Because the ones that aren't going to be there do a lot of mixed media and they do it pretty good. But, uh, yeah, to get back to my layout. Oh, when I was putting my dribbles on there, splatters, I, inside the lid of the teal colored one, that is uh, the Illusions Teal, there's a ring. It fell off and fell on the layout. So then I had to flip it over and put it a couple other places. And I'm going to end up covering that up. So I could have just got away with picking it up and moving it. But I didn't know I was going to cover it up when I did it. But my fingers still have the evidence. It might take a day or two to go away. I even tried that ink you get stays on to clean your stamps with. I even tried that on my fingers. Didn't work. So, it's pretty good stuff. See, there I covered up that little ring. But it being mixed media, I don't think the others look bad at all. Well, that one didn't until I decided to add a second one, thinking I'd do it kind of like interlocking. No, it didn't look that way. So, that didn't work. And all I wanted to do was cover it up then. I had a plan to use this little doily. Forgot and had other stuff on there. Like that little butterfly and everything. So I just cut a little piece off and put there. And I did use a branding strip next to the photo. It's got some words on it. Some lines and some numbers. It's tone on tone. And I thought it was pretty cute. And I wasn't about to toss it in the trash. So it's on my layout. And I like it. So yeah. <laughs> it's on there. And what am I doing now? Oh those little hearts. I'm not going to like them. <laughs> I'm going to pull them off. <laughs> I thought I would. And on the original, it has a bow there right below the picture on the left. So I put a bow there. I'm not going to like that. And it's going to come off too. I'm having a hard time making up my mind on what I do like and don't like on this layout. And see that little pinwheel, that package there? I got it off of age, ages ago off of HSN. And, I mean, years and years. <laughs> so I was glad to get that on there. I thought, oh, that looks like the same color. But, yeah, it's on there. And I'm pretty tickled with that. And I'm going to use this twine. It's an aqua color. And it's got thread through it, metallic thread. But it's gold and silver. So you look at one part of it and it's silver. And another part it's gold. Or you turn it in the light. And it looks a little different. But it's really pretty. But I'm going to put some of it on my layout. And, yeah, it's going to be in three different places. Instead of having one intertwined through the whole thing, I thought I'd be more conservative and just put the one up there by the photo. Well, then, of course, I said, no, I better put another one down there by the pinwheel. Then I thought, well, two, two, really? So, yeah, I'm going to put another little bitty piece, not really big. So there will be three pieces on there. But isn't that a silly photo? So cute. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when I pulled it out, I had it printed for a while because I printed it the same time when I did another one. Because you, know, you can print two on a four by six. And the other one was her, her too, and I did the layout. And when I seen this uh, inspiration layout, I thought, well, I got a little tiny one I can use. 
look how much bigger my photo <laughs> looks than the one on the original. Yeah, it's not that tiny no more now that you compare the two. But I don't think that I mentioned that I used the Martha Stewart butterfly punch. It's got three butterflies on there. And I'm going to use that EK Success flower punch in just a minute. When I get around in that area with the sequins, I'll see it and I'll think, oh man, I need to use it. And so I will stop at the sequins so I can get that done and have it on my layout and not forget it. I am only going to punch three. Yeah, I know, just three, not a dozen. And I'm punching them down there where those flowers were in the bottom corner. If I'd had more that looked like that, I might have punched more. But... I managed to get three punched out of there, so that's all I'm using. And here I'm telling myself, be very careful. You're putting noodle drops on here before you're done. Yeah, they live. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I'm surprised, but yeah, they live. Yeah, here's where I realized that I do not have a title on there. So I went back in there with everything, and I'm going to put the title on. And those are Heidi Swap. I had, I've, I've had it, like I said, since 2015. I did not know there was two colors. I thought there was only the gold. I pull the gold out, and I see the pink behind there. So I laid the gold to the side, and I used the pink instead because I thought it'd go better with the layout. I was going to throw some Heidi Swap gold on here using those gold ones, but I seen them, and I thought, well, it's tiny, and it'll fit, and I didn't realize how tiny till I actually put them on the paper, though. But yeah, they are tiny. <laughs> I thought they will look cute down there. But there is like a whole row of hearts down at the bottom of the sticker sheet. And I thought, well, to repeat the glittery pink stuff, I would put them on the page. So I'm going to scatter them here and there. I think I'm going to use five. And yeah, add some glitter to the rest of my layout. But that's it. That's my layout. Be sure to check the other gals down there below and see what they've been doing. And go to our Facebook group, Mix Media Frenzy. And the you can use the sketch and make your own layout. Post it in there so we can see what you've done. And if you've done any other mixed media, you can post that in there too so we can see it. But we do have a hop at the end of the month and you can join in. And let's see. Oh, yeah, there's those cute little hearts. And there's my... Silly selfie. See how small it is? <laughs> it's very small. And, of course, my butterflies are pretty small, too. But, yeah. Uh, if you leave a comment down there below, I'll get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so much. But I hope you all have a happy, scrappy week. Take care and stay safe and try this sketch. Well, layout. Bye.